Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie K. Welcome everyone. I am here today to share with you guys another great idea on using your laces and trims and embellishments from Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy. And if you are new to my channel, again, Angel Dream Crafts is a wonderful little store that's on Etsy. It's owned by Kim and she sells the most amazing laces and trims blings, appliques, doilies, embellishments, metal pieces, and also some of her handcrafted goodies. And I do have links listed below in the description box, so make sure you guys open that up and you will find links to Kim's shop along with links to the other ladies who are designing for Angel Dream Crafts. And I also have links for some of my past design team projects to inspire you, so hopefully you guys go and check those out. And then I also wanted to let you know if this is your first time ordering from Kim Shop that if you are based in the US, she does offer free shipping if you spend $35 or more, which I think is a great deal. And then for today's project, I did decide to make a banner using snippets, a lot of snippets left from my stash that, from past design team projects for Kim Shop and also from some of the grab bag snippet items that she sent in my last design team package and also a few other little trims that she sent. This is about my fifth time trying to record this video today. I first started out outside and I hung this banner and it looked very lovely on our garden shed just because it, it is quite a large banner. And I thought, oh, this would be just perfect spot to hang it and everybody can see it. And then the wind came up and it was flying and flapping in the wind. So then I gave up on that idea. And so I brought it in the house and I started looking around trying to find a wall large enough to hang it. And um, the only wall I really had was in the basement after I removed a couple of pictures. And as many of you guys know, I do live in the Midwest and we don't have a lot of great sun. And also we live in a cabin and it's rustic. Or, and so it's really dark and I was not happy with the quality of the film. So I'm back at my craft desk where I do have a little bit better lighting and I'm just gonna have to show you guys this banner in pieces. So I do apologize for that because it does look gorgeous if you could see it all spread out. And my plan is, is I am going to hang it above my craft window here in my craft room. And again, I tried to possibly think about filming above there, but just the way the light's coming in, it was just way too harsh. And my whites were getting really blown out. And like I said, I just wanted you guys to see all the wonderful details and all the beautiful trims that I used on this banner. So. With that being said, now I am going to get into the banner pieces. There are nine pieces and I did start off with a pre-store-bought banner set that I had in my stash for a long time. So this is basically what it looked like. And I also opted to sew on many of my laces and then a few of them I did glue using Fabri-Tac or a fabric glue and a little bit of the hot glue gun, but just knowing that I live in a humid climate, sometimes I don't like to use the hot glue gun because sometimes things do fall apart after a couple of years with the hot glue gun. And so I'm just gonna zoom in on some of the banner pieces here for you guys to see. And I did create this one. It's at the beginning of my banner and then I also have a very similar one at the very end of the banner. And if you take a close look at it, I do have this beautiful eyelet trim. Kim does sell eyelet trim in her shop on and off, and oftentimes it can be vintage. And she currently, I think, has in stock this beautiful braid trim. I know this has been quite popular, and this is a really fun trim. I've used this on several past design team projects, and I was lucky enough to get it again this time in my design team package. And all I added to that was the flat back pearls on that one. And then you can also see underneath, I did start off with laying a base layer of some scrap lace that was in my stash. I had these beautiful rosette flowers and these were left over from a past design team project from Kim Shop. Again, on and off, she does carry this rosette trim. And then she also sent, because I had asked her for one of her snippet grab bags, and there was this beautiful 
dangle trim in it and I did use part of the upper part of the dangle trim later in the banner but I did save the little dangles and I added them underneath the little rosette and so that was my first banner piece and then the second one I kind of started off again with the same same concept I layered the eyelet trim behind it and then I also um on this one, I started off with strips of some different lace. Instead of using a big, bigger, large snippet panel of lace, I added lace. And then on top of that lace, I added this gorgeous little trim that she recently had in her shop. And this one was a really fun trim. A lot of times when you work with the sequin, the trim that had the sequins on it, the sequins always fall off and this one I could cut it anywhere I wanted to and the sequins didn't fall off so I really appreciated that one about this trim right here and then this rosette trim I have a few pieces of that added that actually came from my stash in my snippet pile but just know that all the little lace in between were like larger one inch or two inch pieces of lace that came from Kim's shop and I just layered on top of it with the other two trims. And I really love how that banner piece turned out. And then the third one is another favorite of mine. Of course, I like them all. But this one had a lot of different things on it. Um, for the base of this one, I did start off with a trim that I had in a past design team project. And I had a little bit left over. It was this gorgeous. It's kind of a vintage trim. And I did sew that on. And then after I did that, on the top, um, besides the eyelet trim, I did layer on some doilies. And the doily in the middle came from Kim Shop. And she does sell doily grab bags. And the other two were in my stash. And I added some flat back pearls and more of that gorgeous braid trim with pearls on it. And then I went ahead and added underneath that, she does have some beautiful dangles in her sh shop. And I had some leftover pieces of one of these leaf ones, dangle trims. I think I used this one. It might have been on my altered paintbrush or maybe one of the Christmas ornaments that I made. Um, and I had a little bit of that left. So I added that because I knew I wanted a dangle. And then on top of that, I had these pieces left over from an applique in her shop. And then this flower also came from a trim from her shop. And then on this one, I added the flat back pearl. These pearls were already on the applique, so that made it really easy to add. And then also in the middle of this doily in the snippet grab bag, she did have some little dangle pieces that had a flower, this flower, and then there was a dangle piece off of it. And I just cut off the dangle piece just to add one more layer to that doily piece. So that was the third banner piece. And then this one is the fourth one. And I also have another similar one like this one. It's the fourth, the sixth piece also looks like this. Um, again, I started off with the eyelet trim and this eyelet trim I added on the back side of the banners. And I also layered on another piece of just basic lace on the background. And on top of this one, I added one of the other braid trims that Kim has carried in her shop. And then she also carries these gorgeous heart appliques, which I just love. And it is 3D, so this part of the flower is actually on that applique. And then I added one of Kim's beautiful rhinestone and pearl blings on top of that just to kind of finish it off. And I just love... You know, this one was quick and easy to put together, but I just love how elegant it looks. For the fifth banner piece, which is also my middle piece in the whole banner, I decided to kind of work around this gorgeous bling piece that Kim sent in my design team package. And this is definitely one of those statement type pieces for bling. It's just beautiful. It's silver, there's rhinestones on it, this beautiful rhinestone in the middle and also the little pearl dangle off of the bottom. And so I did start off and I layered it on top of this flower and then I had just enough of this lace left over from a past design team project from Kim's shop. So it was just kind of a little snippet and I had just enough to make a flower out of it and it was satin and lace and those types of trim, the pleated trims make wonderful flowers. 
And underneath that, she carries this beautiful Venice trim. She carries all sorts of Venice trim, but I love this one especially for making snippets. And so she did send some more of that this time around in the design team package. And so I went ahead and added that underneath. And then earlier I had talked about on the very first one, these dangles right here, it came from this background piece or this piece of dangle trim. And so I used that instead of using a lace panel to sew on, I used that snippet as my kind of base, which if I lift these up, you might be able to see more of it. It was a beautiful dangle trim, really pretty. And so that was my base. And then on top of that, I layered another one of her gorgeous dangle trims. This one's really fun. And then on top of that, I layered this flower trim, and that also was part of the snippet bag that Kim sent. And again, of course, there is the eyelet trim on the back side of that one, but I really love that one. And of course, that one's my middle piece and kind of my statement piece for the whole banner. And I did show this one to you guys already, so I'm just going to let you look at it for a couple seconds, and I'm going to move on. As I was making my banner, I did want a couple pieces repeated and then a couple pieces that were different. And this one is different. Um, again, I started off with a the eyelet trim behind the banner. I had some more of this leftover trim from her shop. It was a vintage trim. It's really delicate and pretty. And then on the top part right here, I did lay down. She does sell grab bags for like bridal pieces and so that was a bridal piece that I went ahead and added up there and then on top of that piece I added more of the beautiful braid trim and pearls from my stash and then I added in the middle I added a couple more pieces of this dangle trim from her shop and then also this beautiful dangle trim that I had left over from another past design team project. I used this one on an altered cigar box. So I went ahead and added that. And then I layered up some doilies. And the bottom doily did come from Kim's shop. And a couple of the pieces my mom made, because she does crochet. And she usually crochets me little doilies when she has just a little bit left from other projects. And then I had just this middle piece, I think, was one that I snipped out of some other doily. And then a flat back pearl from my stash. And then the second to last banner piece is this one. And this one was kind of a fun one too. Again, I started off with the eyelet trim behind it. And then I just layered strips of the different laces and trims that I received in my design team package. And also some of the snippets that she sent. And if you look at this one, the only one that came from my stash was this rosette trim. And I just was trying to use it up. I had a whole bunch of small pieces of this trim and I was trying really hard to use it up. But otherwise everything else, all the background laces um, came from her shop. This was actually part of a dangle trim that I had cut off the dangles and used them on my dress form. And so I did have this little piece left over and I thought that was a nice edge piece for this banner piece. And then also right here, you can see I also added a little dangle right here too. I just sewed that on in between two of the laces. And then this last piece is exactly the same as the very first piece that I showed you guys. So I again wanted to thank everybody so much for watching. And if you are interested in any of the products that I use on today's project, um, make sure you do open up that description box and you can easily find the link for Kim's shop. And I will be back later this month with another design team project. I am still working on lots of snippets left over from her store along with full yardages and also some stuff from her grab bag. So I'm excited to share that project with you guys because I've already started it. And so until next time, I do hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.